This program was funded in part by a Ready to Learn No Child Left Behind grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service. Thank you. We're going to Dragonland to ride sleds. Sleds? I've never been on one before. How come? In Colombia, we lived where it was very warm. I've never actually seen snow except in books or on TV. Well, now's your chance. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in the land of heart. Snow looks like a big white blanket covering the ground. Try this, Enrique. The snowflakes melt on your tongue. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Enrique. Ready to go sledding with us? Yeah, definitely. That sled looked like it was going awfully fast. Oh, yes. It's like flying without wings. Even I like going that fast. Well, I don't like it. You don't? I love it! <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. Are Chili and Nippy here yet? Who are Chili and Nippy? Our friends on Snowy Summit. Chili's a snowman, and Nippy's a snow dog. We're all going to Icicle Caverns on our sleds. Let's have a sled race while we're waiting. Want to race me, Ord? Sure, little buddy. On your mark. Get set. Go! Come on, go! I'm winning! Not anymore! <laughs> Max, estás bien? Are you okay? <laughs> sure. Didn't it hurt? Nope. The snow is really soft. It's actually fun to fall into it. <laughs> you look just like a snowman, Max. Did someone say snowman? <laughs> Hello, everyone. And who's this? This is our new friend Enrique. A talking snowman? <coughs> and a snow dog who runs and barks? <laughs> His tongue is cold. Está fría. Is everybody ready to go to the icicle caverns? Definitely. Yes, please. Absolutely. Come on, Enrique. There's plenty of room. Or do you want to ride on our sled with us, Enrique? Oh, oh, oh. Nippy wants you to come on our sled, Enrique. Thanks, but I don't think I really want to ride on a sled. Why not, Enrique? Uh, I don't want to fall off like you did, Max. But it didn't hurt. Maybe we could fly there instead of riding on sleds. Or walk. A sledding's the only way to get there. 
Yes, the icicle caverns are down in a valley with lots of rocks and tree branches hanging over them. And it's way too far to walk. Ah, uh, yo comprendo. I'll just wait here then until you all come back. Aw, it won't be as much fun if you don't come, Enrique. We always should come. Definitely. I'm sorry, everybody. I just don't want to. Why not, Enrique? It just looks too... Scary? If you get used to it little by little, maybe it wouldn't feel so scary. Maybe. That's a fabulous idea, Emmy! Yes, Enrique can sit on the sled, and one of us can pull him over flat snow very slowly. That wouldn't be too scary, would it, Enrique? I guess not. I'll pull! All aboard! Remember, Ord, nice and slow. Not too fast for you, Enrique? No, it's fine so far. I could even go a little faster. Okie doke! Why did you stop, Ord? There's a little hill. I don't want the sled to go too fast. That doesn't look too steep. It's just a little hill. Do you want to try riding down it, Enrique? I'm not sure. Would you feel better if someone rode on the sled with you? I'll do it. Buen idea. Let's give him a push, Zaki, to get him started. Just a little push, of course. And a one, and a two, and a three! You okay back there, Enrique? I think so. Well, we can't be going too fast, because Nippy's running faster. Más rápido than we are. Come on, Nippy, get out of the way! Oh, Nippy! Sorry, Enrique. I had to steer us out of the way so we wouldn't hit Nippy. I know! Hey there, boys! You all right? I'm fine. How about you, Enrique? See, it didn't hurt. You were right, Max. Still, it was a little scary. I hate to be a party pooper, but if we're going to the icicle caverns, we should hop on our sleds and ski doodle! It's going to be dark soon. No, no, no quiero ir. I don't want to go. I'm still a little scared. Aww. Oh, no. But not as scared as before, right? And if you can get back on the sled now, you'll feel even less scared. I do want to see the icicle caverns. Oh, you love them, Enrique! And they have icicle xylophones that make the most beautiful music! It really didn't hurt when I fell into the nieve. I guess I could try it again. That's great, Enrique! Yay! Ready? Listo! Don't forget to hold on tight, Enrique! Here we are! Well, Enrique, how was the ride? I don't think I've ever gone so fast before. But I loved it! And you made it all the way to the Icicle Cavern! Que lindo! So beautiful! And it sounds even better than it looks! Right, Zaki? Let's show them! Play another one. Before the encore, is anybody thirsty? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. thirsty. I've got the perfect drink for winter's day. <laughs> Chocolate. <sighs> ah, 
Me gustó el chocolate caliente. And it tastes even better in the cold. Okay, Zaki, what should we play next? Oh, I have an idea. I know a song about making chocolate caliente. How does it go, Enrique? Yes. Can you teach it to us? Mm, I'll try. Uno, dos, tres, cho. Uno, dos, tres, go. Uno, dos, tres, la. Uno, dos, tres, te. Chocolate, chocolate, bate, bate el chocolate. Let's all sing it. Uno, dos, tres, cho. Uno, dos, tres, go. Uno, dos, tres, la. Uno, dos, tres, te. Chocolate, chocolate, bate, bate el chocolate. That's a perfect song to sip hot chocolate by, Enrique. See, I like singing it almost as much as drinking it. <sighs> I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. I wish it was winter time so we could ride the sled right now. Well, we can go back to Dragonland tomorrow. I can't wait till then. I'll just have to pretend. Swoosh! You're sure going fast, Enrique. Con cuidado. Watch out for that bomb. <laughs> hey, I want to turn. Me too. Me three. <laughs> Princess Cadoodle. Hola, Emmy. Hola, Max. Your mom sent me up. Come on. We want to get to Dragonland early so we can help Zack and Weezy practice their song. See, si, see. Si. I'm the one who taught it to them. Nice hat. Can I try it on? No, don't. Why not? Come on, you two. I wish, I wish we all I'm so glad you're here. We need your help. Why? Is something wrong? It's Zack and Weezy. They won't come out of their cave. Right before their big concert? Que raro. Yes, really strange, right? Zack and Weezy would never miss a concert. There must be something wrong. Let's go see if we can help. The knocker hole is right over... over... there. I really like your cap. Can I take a closer look? No, no, ahora. Not right now. Enrique's not taking off his hat for anybody today. Okay, everybody hop in. Next stop, Zack and Weezy's cave. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm still not used to getting around this way. Zack, Wheezy, where are you? Go away! Zack and Wheezy aren't home! You can't fool me, Wheezy. That's your voice. No, it's not! Yes, it is. Come out, come out, wherever you are! You heard, Wheezy. We aren't here. Oops. I mean, Wheezy and I aren't. Oh. Oh, I give up. Aw, uh, I had them fooled until you put our foot in your mouth. Your skin, what happened? We're, We're shedding. shedding. Oh. That means their scales are falling off. It happens to dragons sometimes. It's not so bad. Your scales will grow back. But not for weeks. And we're supposed to play a song for Princess Kadoodle in just a few hours. We can't appear in front of the princess looking like this. We'll just have to cancel the show. But you two practice so hard. You can't let a few missing scales stop you from performing. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one chatting. Uh, oh, uh, uh. oh, 
There goes some more. I feel so silly looking without our scales. Hey, if we all start thinking, we should be able to figure out a way to fix this. You'll have to hurry. The curtain's going up really soon. Let's try to mix the colors so they match Zack and Lucy's scales. And maybe it'll look like the scales are still there. Everybody grab a brush! <laughs> I feel like an art project. <laughs> you have to stop giggling. It makes you all giggly. Okay, can anybody see where the scales are missing? Nope. The berry juice blends in perfectly. Love it! Yeah, it looks good. Let's give it a whirl. Our song is called El Coqui, the Frog. I taught them that song in Espanol and English. My coquie little frog, how I love you. For your song gives me comfort and peace. Every night I can go to sleep happy. When I hear lullabies from coquie. Coquie, 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 I didn't teach you this song. <laughs> The new scales are uh, itchy. Ah! I think we better try something else. Hmm. Maybe we could cover up the bald spots. With what? Oh, I feel like a garden in spring. And I feel like a parade float. But flowers are the perfect cover up for your missing scales. We're almost out of flowers. Where are Orta Max? Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't help it. Dandelions make me sneeze, and big ones make me sneeze even bigger. <laughs> there, all the bare spots are covered. <laughs> At least flowers don't itch. Let's rock and roll! My cokey little frog, how I... Hey! Where'd that bubble bee come from? Probably just like flowers. Uh, let's start over. My cokey little frog, how I love you. For your song gives me comfort yeah. and peace. Every I go, go, go. When I hear lullabies from... <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> no one's gonna notice you're missing scales when you're wearing all this stuff. Definitely. They'll be looking at all your clothes instead. And now for the finishing touch. Why didn't I ever think of wearing all my fancy clothes at the same time before? Because we look like someone dumped a laundry basket over our heads? This almost looks worse than shedding. <laughs> <laughs> you look like rock stars. Really? Play! My cokey little frog, how I love you. For your song gives me comfort and peace. A belt has come loose and it's slipping. We'll grab it before it falls off. Maybe if we tried a few less layers. Oh, it's hopeless. We'll just have to cancel the show. We'll go tell Princess Kadoodle. She'll be disappointed, but she should know. Come on, we better hurry. Everyone's probably already finding seats for the concert. I'll stay here with Zack and Wheezy. Oh, I'm sorry we're not going to be able to sing for Princess Kadoodle. Well, there's still time to change your mind. You really don't look that bad. <sighs> you wouldn't say that if you were us. You don't know what it's like to feel so... silly. Actually, I know exactly how you feel. Whoa! <laughs> oh, sorry. I can't help it! 
Bates. <laughs> that is a B.A.D. haircut. My abuelita, Judy. I don't think she's cut hair in a long time. But even looking like this, if I had a chance to play for Princess Kidoodle, I would do it. No, you wouldn't. You're just saying that. See, si, see, si, I would. And I'll prove it. I'll get up on that stage if you will. Maybe we could help each other feel less embarrassed. Yeah! Everyone will be so busy looking at our bald spots, they won't notice your haircut. Or they'll be so busy laughing at my haircut, they won't notice your missing scales. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know what to say. We'll just have to tell the princess the truth. It's the only way. I'll do it. to take off his hat. My sister and I, along with our friend Enrique, would like to play a song for you. It's called El Coqui, the Frog. My Coqui little frog, how I love you. For your song gives me comfort and peace. Every night I can go to sleep happy. When I hear lullabies from Coqui, Coqui, I don't think anyone in the audience even cared about how they looked. Thank, Thank you, Your, your Majesty. Majesty. Gracias, Your Majesty. Without it until next time. And maybe your hair will grow out by then. <laughs> <laughs> and he wished on a dragon's scale, and that's what started Dragon Tales. The kind on the backs of the dragon friends. Now the adventures never end. Dragon Tales, Dragon Tales, it's almost time for Dragon Tales. Dragon Land. <laughs> <laughs>